Spring Valley Country Club is a community asset. It's a regional asset. So it has a, it has a huge impact to a whole lot of people. In this February 2021 interview, Joseph W. Brady details Spring Valley Lake's assessed value. Let me tell you one thing that's rather interesting about Spring Valley Lake. Our assessed value has just gone over $1.1 billion. Okay, $1.1 billion. People say, wow, that's a lot of money. Considering that, we're, we're, we're basing that on Prop 13 values. So we have people in there that have been there, you know, from 1969 or 1970. We have people that, that like me, they bought when I did. And so your assessed value, your fair market value is very different. Well, last year, Terry, the, the assessed value went up about 200 million bucks. So I'm going to share that. Uh, we'll, we'll send that on over, you know, kind of clip it. That's really exciting because that says that the agents that are down there are, are doing really well in real estate. Uh, there is not a whole lot of inventory and that people are very desirable about getting into Spring Valley Lake. And I think it's an indication the market's still really healthy. Let me share with you a couple things that have to do with, with construction that have to do with Spring Valley Lake and kind of the high desert region. So, Terry, you know, if, if we go back to the year 2000, we all remember we were coming out of the George Air Force Base debacle and, and you know, the George Air Force Base deal cost the Victor Valley a billion dollars based on a federal report I saw. So in 2000, the value Valley, okay, the five cities, including the first district and third district, we built 923 new homes that year, okay, 2000. By 2005, we were building 7,649. A lot of houses. Mm -hmm. So you take take 8,000 houses times three people per house is 25,000, okay? We then, in 2011, after the, the, the 08 debacle, we were at 180, okay? We are back at 1190. To put things in their proper perspective, since 2000 through 2020, we have built in the high desert 39,710 new homes. But we're at 1190. As you, I mean, I walk around Spring Valley Lake all the time, and I mean, uh, Larry, Larry Basiak, Danny uh, Damron, they're they're building and they're doing well, and, and they're building on, on they're on the main parkway and, and, and you know Country Club and Lakeview, and, and so there so there's good activity. Um, let me say one thing about about housing, because this this kind of goes into we're going to do a segment on housing, but for people in Spring Valley to kind of get an idea. So we, we, you know, we, we back, we buy data from CoreLogic. So we compare data to, let's say, the High Desert Association Realtors. Okay, so the High Desert Association Realtors tells us last year that based on their multiple listing service. So um, I'm, I'm a realtor member and I'm also a multiple listing member, but not every real estate agent is a realtor, okay? So based on the realtors, okay, based on the California Association of Realtors, they believe that the high desert region that we're comprised of last year did uh, 6,143 sales. Okay, eh, they're they're fairly close. They're with they're 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 within you know they're they're within 20 percent. The median price was 299. Okay, the existing square footage price per foot was 161. So I say to people all the time, always look at price per foot. Don't look at the guy down the street got 400 grand, the guy down the street got 320. Always look at price per foot. You're going to get a higher price per foot if you're on the water. You're going to get a price per foot if you're on the golf course. You're not going to get a price per foot. Um, so that's according to the California Association Rules. According to the multiple listing service, okay, so there's a whole lot of people that are, that are involved in multiple listing service. We sold 4,363, okay? So according to the... The High Desert, according to the California Association of Realtors, great organization. They said that they sold 6,143, and the High Desert Association of Realtors Multiple Listing Service said we sold 4,363. Okay, total reportable, total reportable sales, 1,344,447,674. Okay, so now, now here's where the real number is. So we buy our numbers from CoreLogic. They track all sales. So they don't care if you're a realtor. They don't care where it is. It, it's a sale that generates a transfer tax and all that. So in, in 1985, we compare the same zip codes today that we did then. We go from Fort Irwin, Newbury Springs, to, to Lucerne Valley, to Wrightwood, to Penning Hills, Phelan, and all the cities. So in 1985, we sold 3,017 total homes. 
at a total consideration of one hundred ninety four million seven hundred four thousand seven hundred fifty bucks. Wow, pretty cool. By two thousand five, you remember we were talking about seventy six hundred forty nine new homes that were built. We sold sixteen thousand five hundred eleven homes. Total consideration four billion five hundred thirty six million four hundred ninety one thousand dollars. Pretty staggering number. So when we went back to 2011 and, and what we saw happen in the marketplace, we dropped down in 2011, well, to, to 2010, we are at 1 billion, 22 million, 244,770, and we dropped down to 8,900. We, we literally dropped almost in half. By 2015, we are at 6,800 total units. This last year, okay, we're, we did 7,000, okay, in, in 2020, uh, total 2020, and I want to thank Francisco Diaz and our office for doing this uh, spreadsheet. Uh, we did 7,778 units. We did 2,247,871,775 2, dollars, okay? We were up 448 units over the prior year. We were 19% higher on, on total volume. Okay, which is good. We picked up three hundred seventy-two million dollars more in sales on up here. So you know, you you, you do take take the the math and look at what those total sales and, and equate four percent to it. Those are commissions that go in the local marketplace and that they help some people in real estate and all that. So the housing market is clearly coming back. You know, I'm glad to share that with our friends in, in Spring Valley Lake. Upcoming online with Joseph W. Brady, the detrimental impact of extending the moratorium on tenant rents. Terry, it has a huge impact on all the landlords, and I think it has I think it has a huge impact on us as a society. We hope you'll join so, us for this I'm topic. Well Thank you for watching.